Bonjour, salut! Hi guys, welcome to my top tips for your GCSE French revision. Tip number one, the most important tip of all, is to learn your vocabulary. Learn as much vocabulary as you can as it will help you with every single skill of your exam. Your listening, your reading and your writing because it is the French language. Have a vocab book with all the topic language needed for your GCSE exams. Last year I gave you all um, a notebook where I'd suggested that you put French on one side and English on the other and hopefully you've kept up with that so you can refer to refer to that vocabulary for learning. Create mini quizlets using the vocab to help you and ask your parents to test you. You can be tested with spellings or simply memorising. Tip number two is your reading. Do pass papers AQA website has many past papers available for you to refer to. You can also check out other exam boards such as Edexcel. You've got your revision guides to work from, um, but doing past papers is definitely the best ways of practicing reading. Learn your vocabulary again. Um, Vocab Express will help you memorize all your quizlets. Be confident with your question words. Learn your endings and your tenses. To help you do this, you can use Languages Online. That's a free website. Don't take for granted your basic expressions that you've learned in Key Stage 3. And learn those little words, the adverbs of frequencies, your connectives, your quantifiers. Tip number three, your listening paper. Again, past papers, so lots of past papers out there for you to, to try. GCSE pods, so I always suggest that you download the pods and you put them onto your phone because you have access to your phones all the time. You can listen to the GCSE, GCSE pods at the bus stop, on the bus, at home. I suggest that you listen to French at least 15 minutes a day. Again, learn your vocabulary. So same um, means, Vocab Express, Memorise or Quizlet. Again, you need to be confident with those question words. You need to know your endings and tenses. It's those basic expressions from Key Stage 3. Make sure you know what they are and those little words again. Know your questions. For example, you have comment, combien, qui, où, pourquoi, quel. You need to know what these mean in English. These are the most common questions in French and they will come up in almost all of your question papers. Tip number five is your writing exam. Do lots of writing practice at home. You can start with simple sentences, work into um, bigger paragraphs. You need to know your vocabulary, so keep learning, keep memorising, keep practising that vocabulary from all themes. So you need content language from theme one, theme two and theme three. Endings and tenses, so you need to make sure that you've got your agreements correct because with the writing it can be seen and you will be marked on accuracy, so this is very, very important. Practice translations, so you will get translations from French to English and English to French. You can start with simple sentences, working up to bigger paragraphs, um, but you must practice those translations and think about your word order. So proofreading is part of the translation technique. You need to try and include some GCSE vocabulary and get out of your comfort zone. Uh, so yes, the basics are very good, but you need to be trying to put in a little bit of fancy language and learn set phrases that you can reuse in different contexts. So what makes writing successful? So I am going to give you three 
what we call writing mats. So the first one that you can see here is um, a writing mat that has on all those little words. So they've got your connectives, your adverbs of frequency, it's got your intensifiers, your quantifiers, some opinions, some adjectives, and then what we class as fancy language. What I suggest you do with this is that you highlight some of the vocabulary that you will then try and learn and use in your writing. Okay, that is okay, that is allowed. And if you just learn a few structures, then you can, um, it will make it easier for you to write when you are being asked to write. What you have here is a writing map for the 90 words. So remember the 90 words is the crossover question on both the higher and the foundation paper. And again, um, have a look at the language. You've got the French and the English here. Highlight the words that you think you'd like to be able to use. You've got your mark scheme, so you can have a look at what you need to include in your 90 words and learn the vocabulary. And here is your writing map for the 150 words. So for those of you that will be doing the 150 words, you have a bit more of the complex language and what you would be expected to include in a writing paper. number six is your speaking exam so this year things are a little different and um, your speaking is going to be assessed in class by your teacher which means that you're going to have to speak as much French as possible if you don't speak French it's going to be really difficult for us to assess your French so you need to find the confidence to um, answer if you're being asked a question or even just to Put your hand up and have a go. In order to help you with your speaking, you need to learn your vocabulary, you need to listen to pronunciation and you need to be confident. So listening is the key to your speaking and you can listen to songs, you can watch French films, anything that you find enjoyable. Finally, you need to make sure that you understand the questions that are on the French papers. So section B of the reading and the listening are French to French and your instructions will be in French. So you need to make sure that you understand the words that um, come up all of the time. So the common vocabulary such as écrivez, lisez, choisissez, décidez, complétez, répondez. The majority are cognates, so they look English, but you need to make sure that you can understand the instruction. My recommendation to you is that you get a couple of years of past papers and you have a look at the instructions that have come up in French and you work out what they mean. So revise with a friend via Teams. So this is a good way of seeing how somebody else revises and look at their exam technique and you never know you might even learn from each other. So given the current climate, Teams is how you will work together and it is a good way to, um, to test each other as well. And finally, it's just left for me to say be confident, be positive and bon chance. Thank you for listening.